Hey everyone, welcome back to Finance Homefront, your go-to channel for informative content on all things finance. I'm your host, Craig, and today we're diving into a hot topic, President Biden's Student Loan Forgiveness Program. With student debt reaching staggering heights, many are eager to understand how this initiative could impact their financial future. In this video, we'll break down the key aspects of the program, discuss eligibility criteria, and explore its potential implications for borrowers. Remember, while we aim to provide valuable insights, our content is for informational purposes only and not financial advice. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and share this video with friends and family who could benefit from staying informed. Now, let's get started. President Biden is embarking on a fresh trajectory aimed at diminishing or eradicating federal student loan balances for millions of borrowers, remaining steadfast in his commitment to alleviate the weight of college debt, a promise he made during his campaign. The proposed scheme for forgiveness, unveiled on Monday, stands as an alternative to the extensive $400 billion debt relief program announced by Biden in 2022, which was subsequently thwarted by the Supreme Court last summer. Following that setback in court, the Biden administration engaged in a deliberative rulemaking process to devise a regulation that achieves broad scale debt cancellation, albeit through a more targeted approach compared to the previous plan. In the forthcoming months, the, the Education Department will unveil a preliminary rule regarding the forgiveness plan, seeking input from the public. Meanwhile, the Biden administration is divulging further details regarding how the proposal intends to achieve the president's objective of significant debt reduction. Here's a breakdown of what is known thus far. What does Biden's student loan relief plan entail? The new plan is set to broaden federal student loan relief to various categories of borrowers. Among its provisions, it will eradicate up to $20,000 in accumulated interest for borrowers burdened with amounts far exceeding their initial borrowing due to unpaid interest. Borrowers enrolled in an income-driven repayment plan and earning less than $120,000 annually for individuals or less than $240,000 for couples could potentially have all their interest forgiven. The White House approximates that 25 million individuals stand to benefit from this aspect of the new plan, with 23 million possibly having their unpaid interest entirely pardoned. Upon finalization, an additional 2 million borrowers may automatically witness their loans annulled if they qualify for existing forgiveness programs, such as public service loan forgiveness, but have not applied. Furthermore, the proposed plan intends to automatically nullify the loans of individuals who have been repaying undergraduate loans for at least two decades and graduate loans for 25 years or more. It would also absolve the debt of borrowers who attended vocational training programs that resulted in substantial debt burdens or meager earnings. A fifth category of borrowers would receive debt relief if they encounter hardships such as significant medical debt or childcare expenses, impeding their ability to repay their student loans. The specific terms of each category will be delineated in the formal rule set to be released soon. The administration aims to introduce the interest education feature in the fall, with the remaining components potentially implemented the following summer. Who qualifies for student loan forgiveness? The majority of Americans with federally held student loans are poised to qualify for some form of relief under the new plan. Additionally, individuals with privately held federal loans originating from the defunct Federal Family Education Loan FFEL program would derive benefits from certain aspects of the proposal. Commercial FFEL borrowers would be eligible for forgiveness if they entered repayment on or before July 1st, 2000, or meet the criteria but have yet to apply for a closed school discharge. 
a form of debt cancellation for borrowers whose educational institutions abruptly shuttered. Such borrowers would also qualify for debt relief if their loans are associated with a college that forfeited access to federal student aid due to elevated loan default rates, according to the Education Department. Is application necessary for loan forgiveness? While the specifics of the plan are still under deliberation at the Education Department, the Biden administration has articulated its aspiration for the vast majority of relief to be automatic. If I was approved for loan forgiveness under the previous plan, would I qualify this time? Eligibility hinges on whether an individual falls within any of the five categories designated for loan forgiveness. How does this plan differ from the one rejected by the Supreme Court? Biden's 2022 student loan forgiveness plan was predicated on the Higher Education Relief Opportunities for Students HEROES Act of 2003, empowering the Secretary of Education to alleviate the hardship that federal student loan recipients may suffer as a result of national emergencies. The President contended that the economic turmoil stemming from the COVID-19 pandemic warranted government intervention, including up to $20,000 in loan cancellation for 40 million borrowers. However, in nullifying the debt relief plan, a majority of Supreme Court justices opined that the HERO statute was not intended for policies with such a staggering economic impact. This time around, instead of relying on the 2003 law, the Biden administration anchored its new plan with authority derived from the 1965 Higher Education Act. This act enables the Education Secretary to compromise, waive, or release loans under specific circumstances. Critics of Biden's plan raise doubts about whether the 1965 law permits the expansive debt relief envisioned by the administration. They point out that Chief Justice John G. Roberts Jr. highlighted in his opinion last year that the act can be utilized to cancel debt only in certain limited circumstances. The Biden administration maintains that the new plan comprises interventions tailored to address specific circumstances covered by the Higher Education Act. The president is confident that his actions fall within the purview of the law, according to statements from the White House. Are private loans eligible? As of my last update in January 2022, President Biden's student loan forgiveness plans primarily targeted federal student loans. Private loans typically aren't eligible for federal forgiveness programs. However, it's always a good idea to stay updated on any changes or expansions to these programs, as policies can evolve over time. You might want to check the latest information from official government sources or reputable news outlets for the most accurate and current details regarding student loan forgiveness policies. Thanks again for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. Until next time, good people.